Hello, hello everyone. Hatchek 711. It's a analog to digital converter, specifically used in the weighing scale machines. It's easier to integrate that. How it work? How it will work? We will see over here. Yeah, a brief overview. It's a 24 bit precision ADC, so that you will get more accurate value in terms of grams. You can able to measure, you build your weighing scale, the consumer grade with, uh, weighing scale easier. Yeah, we are building with that uh, Hajak 711 based Bluetooth, a yeah, smart weighing machine with the Bluetooth low energy enabled. Yeah, maybe that we will see how we can interact with that Bluetooth based and how we can access and it can be interfaced with the bridge sensor for example a load sensor load cell easily directly we no need additional circuit something like we have to basically in order to for, uh, ax, connect with the load cell we need to form a bridge in order to get that exact the changes in the variations it basically that hx 711 module it integrated into uh, integrated into the module itself you just need we just need to connect that load cell into the module basically it has two different selectable input channel you can measure that uh, two channels simultaneously by switching that gpos and it has set on chip power supply for the load cell and ADC we just need to power up with the VCC from uh, the board the module will take care of powering up ADC and then load cell and everything and it has that simple digital control serial interface logic that we will see how we, or all the pins and how it can be data can be pushed or data can be fetched that we can able to see it has the two different configurations something like a 10 samples per second and 80 samples per second it can generate up to 10 80 that's the maximum and it does not need any programming uh, the internal registers are already programmed you just need to we can read the data directly so that our programming complexity got reduced and it has the flexible clock input either using that internal oscillator or it can be provided from the external clock source as well and we have seen that how we can interface that hardware over here the hardware interface is something like this we have the MCU and we have the Hatchet 71 module and we will be connected with the load cell basically here we used that A plus and A minus a single channel connected with the load cell over here and we should be from the load cell we will be getting four wires red black white and green red black white it's if i put white it will not it doesn't show anything it's something blank i just put in a gray actually it should be white it will be in the white color and green color basically we should connect with that hx 711 accordingly over here maybe in the module you can able to find out something like a e plus e minus a minus a plus that it can be interfaced with that layer load cell can be interfaced over here with a single channel and then we will be getting that data on clock and vcc and ground similar way this should be interact interfaced with the mcu basically here yeah. here this is the interfacing basically and we will can able to see that the how the functional diagram basically that it's something like we will be connected with our load cell over here and we will the input can be maxed and uh, with the programmable uh, amplifier the gain can be programmed over here and it can be converted into analog to digital and uh, from the digital interface we will be reading to the uh, MCU this is the functional diagram of HX, HX711 and it can play with the internal oscillator or else we can fetch that external oscillator external clock as well 
and we have the timing diagram over here something like we can able to read that 24 bit of adc value which contains that the analog digital value of the respective load up we applied the difference in resistance that we got it in the our load cell basically here it's something like we have to do we play with the clock the do should be low and then high and then the SEK will be generated for 24 um, 24 clock cycles to get that 24 um, bits of data in case of 32 we will be having that uh, 32 uh, 26 bits and we will be having in case of a uh, uh, gain 27 bits that 3 bits should be ignored basically and we will be having something like a data flow chart it's something like configure data on clock as output make that clock data as one and clock as zero and make that convert that data pin as a input and wait for till it becomes high so that it generates the uh, it start for that and toggle the clock for 24 times and read the bit value from the data we will be getting that 24 bits of data and make that clock to high again and we will be having that the 24 bits of count in the in our count variable and XOR that with the if it is a negative it should be converted into the positive by XORing with the 8 followed by 506 is 24 bits and we can able to see our the data is over here we can see that how we can demonstrate this in our next session that we shall plan thank you thank you for watching you can contact me at nvhariharan at the rate of nevitech.com. Subscribe me for more updates.